basically trying to get our confidence back. You know, just trying to get everybody in a positive mindset. Of course, the tactical things we're really, really trying to sharpen up a lot of um, you know, our habits. Um, and for the most part, just get an understanding of how hard you have to work to, to not only turn things around, but to, to be good. It's, it's hard. And um, if it was easy, then everybody would be good. But that's not the case. You called yesterday what? a world when I mean, has it now sunk in after a little bit more time to think about it? No, not yet. Uh, I think um, when I get some sleep, I, only, I got five hours last night, so that was a little better than the night before. But, I, you know, as long as I can be in the gym, I'm fine. You know, it's, it's all the other stuff that uh, gets you tired. Do you know yet who is going to be on your staff? You're still trying to figure all that out? Yeah. I think that'll, that'll kind of play itself out. I'm concerned about um, our team and our players. That's, that's the biggest concern for me, making sure that our guys are getting uh, everything they can from me and, and from the guys that are here. Do you, do you anticipate changing the rotation as it's been, or, or are you kind of trying to figure that out in the next few days? Um, you, you never know. Everything is open. Um, I mean, if, if we... If we were really good, then it wouldn't be a question, but we're not. So uh, until you reach a point where you're good, you have to work and uh, you know do what you have to do to see what will work. So, have you told these guys that there's an opportunity here? Almost definitely. It's, um, I've let them know that from day one once I found out my position. Um, you know, guys that play hard, they're going to play. You know, I don't care about mistakes and things like that. We can work on the mental aspect of it, but we got to learn to play hard first, and, and then everything else will take care of itself. When you look at the team you inherited, you said you're not really good right now. What are the strengths of this team now? Uh, I think, I think, personality-wise, we have to find an identity, and that's what the search is. And I think um, we're trying to establish that now with a work ethic. And once we establish an identity then I think you'll see things start to happen. What is that identity you want to establish as the head coach? Oh, of course, you know, I want to be a hard-nosed, defensive-minded team. That, that's what I want. Um, and that's what we're going to work towards being. And I know that's kind of different than any culture that's been here in the past. Uh, but, you know, things things change all the time. And, and uh, like I told the team, when you change, it's, it's hard. It's tough to go through changes. It's like a kid growing and his knees are hurting all the time. It's, it's growing pains, and uh, hopefully we can go through that and grow and, and see some results. Do you have the players to, to get that identity that you want? Yeah, I think um, I think establishing an identity doesn't have anything to do with superstars or uh, things like that. It has to do with culture, um, the type of character that, that you bring in, and the type of uh, leaders that you have. OKC is a great team, and they have Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, but the culture there is unbelievable. The work ethic there is unbelievable. So, and that's the part that we can control now. That tone is set by those guys, though, right? By Kevin Durant. The tone was set, that groundwork was set a long time before he became the superstar he is now. You know, when they were in Seattle and they drafted those guys, that's when the groundwork was laid. And now, when, you know, he's grown into one of the greats and he's bought in, now everybody has to be. Well, I, I'm sure, um, you know, I don't know personally, but I'm sure being a coach and wanting to, to be a head coach and not getting an opportunity, it, it, you, you know that that hurts, and I understand that. Uh, you know, I'm compassionate about that part of it. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I don't know what, what will come from any of this, but, you know, you wish the guys that are not with us the best and the guys that are with us, you know, we're, we're going to work. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our hard hats on every day. We're going to come to the gym and try to get better.